Hello, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another tips, review, and tutorial. So for today, we will learn how to put a timer onto our Google Form so that it is easier for us teachers to make students accountable of their own completion of tasks. <music> So let's get started. How to set up a timer on Google Form Quiz. So here are the things that we will learn today. One is to install Google Presenter. Two, make a Google Form. Three, turn the form into a quiz. And lastly, to put a timer. Now, if you want to skip the other steps, you can just proceed to three minutes for the tutorial on how to put a timer. But the first thing you need to do is to install Google Presenter. So I'm going to put the link of this Google Form extension below the description. So you can click on it and you will be brought to this page. So once you are here on this blue bar here, you click install. Again, the first thing you need to do is to make a Google form. So go to your Google apps, look for your drive. And this is where you can make a Google form. So click new, choose Google form. And if you want from a template, you can do this, but let's do a blank form. So we can start from scratch. Okay, so we can put this as a quiz and then you can type your first question here. So let's say what is and then, okay, let's just pretend that you have a question in there. Now on this side, you have the option to choose how you want the students to answer it. So it could be short answer, paragraph, multiple choice. So for this tutorial, let's choose multiple choice. And then this is where you put your choices. So A... And then you can add another option. This will be your B and so on. Okay. Now to turn this into a quiz, you have to click the settings icon on this side. So click setting. Okay. If you want to collect their email address when they submit this assignment, you can check this. And to turn this into a quiz with a self grading format, Click on quizzes and just turn it on. Okay. And save. So you will now see the option here where you can put the answer key. So when you click on that, you will be asked to choose which is the correct answer. Let's say B and then change that into points and then done. So once the student answer this, it will readily be checked for you. Now, if you want to add another question, you can just click on this plus button at the side. So this will be your number two. And if you want another, number three. Now, let's say that you have your form ready. It's now time for you to put a timer. So click on this puzzle piece. This is the add-ons icon. This is where you can find the one we have installed earlier, the Google Form Presenter. So click on that, click Form Presenter plus Timer. And this is where you can set up the time limit for this quiz. Okay, so look at that. Now, take a look at this. It has two, um, it has two sidebar. So make sure you are clicking the sidebar inside it. So just move this one and you see the second sidebar here. So when you scroll down, okay, enable form to have specific time. So if you want to have a specific day and time for the students to answer this, you can set it from here. But if you want to just put a timer to it, you can. Just click always. So there you go. Set timer for 30 minutes. Let's say this needs to be done in 30 minutes. So this is also the best part of it. You can allow breaks. So within the 30 minutes, you can check this one and have them 
take a break so one break or two breaks so i'm going to show you later how it will look like so within the span of that 30 minutes they have one chance to pause the test and take a break and it can be any time within that 30 minutes so you can also have the option to check the alert message so before that time ends they will be given this alert message form is closing soon submit before time out okay and okay this one are just for if you want audience to log in first but we don't do that so let's publish our form and let's check how it will look like so publish form okay so the timer is now embedded on this google form so you also have the option to view it first to copy the link or put it in google classroom okay so let's check how it looks like okay there you go so this is how your quiz will look like as soon as they click on the link so going back you can get the link from here here you go, copied the link to Clipboard and you can share that to your Google Classroom or your Google Meet or any platform that you are using for your online class. So let's go back to how it looks like and let's try to click start. Okay, there you go. So um, it's basically all here. They have the current time. The time they have started and how many how many minutes they have left and this is the pause button where they can pause the test let's say if they want to go to the restroom and remember we just put only one chance to go to the bathroom but if you want to give them two or three break times then you may do that so let's try to click the pause button okay and your timer has paused you have zero out of one break remaining they can also resume their quiz okay so that's how we put a timer onto our google form quiz this is one way to force students to be accountable of their own completion of tasks so i hope this is helpful and if you have additional information or questions you can put them in the comment below and we will gladly answer them for you or if you have other information that will help us we will also be glad to read them thank you very much and have a great day bye bye mm -hmm.